Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with uh, the last part on the painting tutorial of the start of the week, and we are going to finish the work with the shield. So I'm going to start painting the shield, and I will start from the inside, from the back, and then we are going to do the nice part that is the front of the shield. So I'm going to start painting the plate here of the shield, of this part here. I'm using um, Lead Belcher from Gage Workshop. Okay, the darkest um, silver or the darkest metallic from Winch Workshop. We are going to play a thin, nice layer here. This is going to be the metal for the, the shield here at the back. The same that I use as the first color on this on the blade on the sod. Okay, so I will do that. I will apply. Uh, a layer of um, light belcher and I will be back once this is done. Okay, next step. And this time I'm going to use Noon Oil, but I will use the new one. The one from Citadel that is gloss. So I will use this to, just as experimenting, I'd like to, to start trying. So this is also for me the first try I use the new gloss Noon Oil, but it's supposed to to work well on metal and as I want to go here for a clean silver um, let's see how it looks like so I will apply a wash normally I will use the normal noon oil but in this case I'm using the new gloss noon oil from Citadel so let's see how it looks like uh, after this is drying up and how the metal uh, will look like. So, yeah, applying this. Okay, uh, because I don't want to really do the, the metallic, so I will apply this. I will make sure that I have this slot filled. Okay, I do that, and I will uh, come back once this is dry. So you can see this who is looking like after applying the the gloss and I think it's too bright for my taste so I'm not fully convinced I will do another try but I'm not fully convinced now it's dry completely and looks for me too glossy so I'm going to paint now the hand uh, using the same techniques that I use for all the green so I will not explain further here okay and I will apply all the base colors gold I will apply all the base colors on the shield so I will show you how, how it's looking like. So uh, I will first do the hand. I will try to do first the back of the of the shield, and I will be back once I start applying the base color. So while I will wait, the hand is drying before doing the wash. I will start doing the base color here on the shield, and I will use for that Gauss Blaster Green because I'm going to do the shield with the white tonality. So as you can see, I applied this pale green. Also, uh, here I, I did the, the hand. Now the next step, I will apply the gold, what is going to be the next color that I will use in the, in the shield. And then we will have all the base colors. So uh, I will use, uh, as a base color, I will use the same technique that I used to do the gold in all the rest of the, of, of the um, Celestan, sorry, the Lord Celestan one on Star Trek. So I will apply Retributor Armor, I will do the highlights and all the work uh, as, as in the same way. So yeah, I will apply Retributor Armor and I will be back once this is done. You can see I put the gold as beige color and now we are going to do the wash and just a, a, a thing when you have something like that so the way to apply the wash is to do one side and then the other uh, there is no way to, to do it all at the same time. So what I'm going to do, as I said, we do this part here. Okay. When okay, I will apply the wash here. I'm using the gloss white, um, the gloss, not the the matte wash in this case. I didn't want to change the way I do the gold. So it's good to do it like that. We try to avoid that it's pulling too much. Okay, we 
want it to keep it on the gold bar and around the rivets okay we'll do that we'll let it dry and we are we will continue it so you can see I did the Agvax A shade wash and now I'm going to use Coelia green shade okay and we are going to do very carefully wash on the gold but I will not do this on the green part so it's just to give as we did in in the rest of the gold we did uh, as we did in the rest of the gold to make it to, to make the shades look deeper again we point rivets crevices joints okay we don't need to wash all over all the parts okay we are going to if, if you are not very precise we are going to clean this later on so it's not a big deal but you don't need to put it all over the place okay for example these ones we do like that and the wash will go more likely so I will wind to pop up all the linings. The linings I will, I think I will do, will paint them later on, like gems or something. I will leave them like to pop up. Okay, and then here we want to apply a little bit, not too much. Okay, just to darken it and to match with the rest. Okay. Okay, and we wait to work on, on the gold until this dries. But in the meantime, in that case, I think I can use the next step. And now I'm going to use another glaze, the same trip that I did for some of the blue. But this time I will use Wave Watcher Green. Okay, it's glaze from Gange Workshop. And I'm going to paint here, for example. And you will see that this is it's the same I use. I'm going to use a similar technique that I use for the wings of the of the prosecutors or the wings of all the characters like the Knight Benator or the Knight Azeros or even the Celestine Prime. So we apply the same type of color. We'll give it's giving like a tonality of the green juice on on the bottles. Okay. See, we if we paint, and we don't need to wash everything. And now we are going to apply. We want to play a little bit here. And. you want to do it. I'm going to play a little bit more here to make this a little bit darker. We let it dry and if you want it darker you play second layer later on. But for now I will let it I will give time this to dry. I see that I, I and then I will go back and start doing the highlights. So let's wait until these two washes with here dries and then we do the highlights. So as you can see I applied um, well, the glaze that I played before is um, half the light. And now we are going to start highlighting on the white. I will use again Gauss Blaster Green and white to do that. So I will start first using white. Okay, and I will use it on the areas that I want to really do. Because at the end, I want this to look like greenish white. So I want really to go more to white than the green tonality, leaving the, the green 
on this S from Sigma This device. In the meantime, we will we are going to here. Okay. So you can see now the head is dried. I will. It's, it's a question of building up the white, leaving really the white in the recesses. It's only the green in the recesses. White requires some passion, don't try. If it's not covering too much, it's better to do several thinner layers than try to go with a big, a thick layer because it can be quite. Yeah, how it's called, can be quite. Um, clock a little bit. How, um, Kind of, what is easy that is accumulating and is giving brush marks is quite easy so to avoid that you want to do several layers of white. I, I, I now insist in the opposite direction in the middle. And I have to say, for the gold, I will not explain again how to do the gold. This has been explained a couple of times in, in the painting tutorial of this Drake. So I will not repeat myself again. So if you really need... And what I'm doing now is I'm applying a little bit of Gauss Blaster Green. Very diluted. To soften the transition a little bit here. Okay. I will do the same here. A little bit of 
what else? The girls have rusted again. Okay. Okay, so this is how to do the green, the white green. I keep the recesses quite with this dark green. And the next thing I will is I will do the gold and then I will come back just to finalize with the lining. So I will do the gold as I do in the rest of, of the of the parts and I will be back to do some of the decorations. So this is how the shield is looking like. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the linings and I will paint them bluish okay I will paint them blue as the ones I did on the cape that the Lord Celestine have so first I'm going to apply uh, Temple Guard Blue okay When, when you have these things, one tip to, to paint something like that is put your brush horizontal, almost parallel to the surface that you want to paint, and go from there. Okay. can happen that you do a small mistake that the one that they did there. So I will I still have here some gold and and silver. So I will just go on top of that. Okay. Now I'm going to use sorry Gilliman blue. Okay, take lips. I'm going to apply it. You can also use the I guess here the new paints from Edge Worship, but what I will do is as you can see I will try to put some the bottom of the lining Okay, and now I'm going to wait until this dry before doing the next step. So I will wait a little bit until this dry before going, doing the next step. So um, it's the, the glaze we played is dry, and now I'm going to play Bahar Blue on the edges, but not in all the edges, so just I will pick some of them. So for example, 
I will take this one here this one here we can take a little bit here so again here Okay, and next I'm going to use white. Okay, so this is what I will do, and then I will paint this one at the bottom in the same way that I paint the ones in the cape. So I will do that, I will finalize the shield and I will show you how it's looking like assembled on the miniature. So now you see the, the shield have been glued to the miniature, I have all the miniature together now. Uh, soon I will do the showcase, so it's already prepared and it's going to come uh, after this video so yeah, once uh, I can I upload it you will have the the showcase I guess you have seen, most of you can see some of my pictures in Facebook and in the PMP I put some pictures of the finalized work but here we have here we have the shield uh, assembled and the other thing I want to show you is I did this okay, following the advice of a friend I put a magnet on the bottom so in that case, I, in that way, I can put, um, I can remove the rider if it's needed. So really fancy, especially for transport. I will not go to, I did not go to magnet the wings because they they are very heavy. So I really suffer to to glue the wings. So I, I guess if you want to do magnets, you have to stack them and do something. So that's all. So here we finalize this series of tutorials. Uh, the start of is painted. I already put some just to show you uh, some flock on the bases uh, that was not done when I did the base uh, at the beginning. And that's all. Here we are. So I hope you have enjoyed this series of tutorials on the start of the Next video is going to be the showcase, nice pictures uh, with a lot of detail of the painting uh, on the different details that we uh, that they paint. Uh, yeah, and I hope you like it. So please um, subscribe, like if you have liked it, comment, share, and if you want even to support further, I have a Patreon account. Uh, 
uh, not compulsory at all. Uh, I will keep doing my videos, but uh, all the support I get from Patreon is put here in the channel to be able to do more tutorials, to add more variety, and who knows, maybe to uh, will open the door to be able to tailor my my tutorials if the uh, yeah if the support is good enough. I can start painting on demand. I can start doing tutorials more on demand. Uh, so far, I will keep doing tutorials on the army I paint. I cut. I try to give variety, as you can see, as you can my know. I do different armies, so I will keep doing that. Next tutorials that you may see in this channel, I, I'm planning to do one doing a cultist, quite a easy one, and uh, maybe I do one doing a sister of battle, uh, strange army. No, what? Not a lot of people is painting that, so I think why not to show how I paint my sisters of battle. So that's all for now. I hope you find this interesting. I hope you have enjoyed this series of tutorials. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!